The trial begins for an area man on child pornography charges. A healing space for San Antonio women turns 20. And the Spurs survive a scare in Chicago. This is your Express Briefing podcast for Tuesday, November 27th. Subscribe to this and other free content at expressnews.com slash podcasts. And get each day's top news and sports headlines delivered to your inbox at expressnews.com slash newsletters. Yesterday, a San Antonio federal trial began for an area man charged in an investigation into what was considered the world's largest child pornography website. Andrew Morgan Weathers of Seguin is one of a handful of people charged locally as part of the FBI's investigation into Playpen, a site that operated on the dark web. The site was shut down in 2015 after the FBI secretly took control of it to identify visitors. But at its height, Playpen had more than 150,000 users. While Weathers is charged with one count each of receiving and possessing child pornography, Monday his lawyer told jurors he confessed to protect a family member. After searching a Seguin home that Weathers shared with his girlfriend, who is now his wife, and two juveniles, the FBI says agents seized a computer and spoke to Weathers, who said he saw child pornography but thought it was the result of pop-ups or a computer virus but then confessed to using the computer to access child porn on the Playpen website and others. However, Weathers' attorney says his client falsely confessed because there was a resident of the home who actively accessed that website, and he was protecting a male child who allegedly has sexually involved juvenile probation problems. Almost 20 years ago, 10 San Antonio doulas, also known as birth companions, wanted to create a healing space for women by starting a nonprofit focused on women's health care and empowerment, imagining a place that would grow and change with the East Side community. That's how the Martinez Street Women's Center was founded, and it's still providing essential services to some of the most vulnerable people in the community from its location at 801 North Olive Street in Dignity Hill. Each week, about 15 people who have become homeless or are going through financial difficulties turn to the center for basic hygiene and health needs like toothpaste or deodorant. And while the center's open central space is used for community gatherings, for the most part, employees and volunteers work off-site in schools, community centers, and other public places to reach as many people as possible. Many of the center's clients live below the poverty line and lack high school or college degrees, and some earn less than the minimum wage but can't quit their jobs. While the center has experienced reduced demand for its services from Eastside residents, as the Dignity Hill neighborhood has become more gentrified, demand is rising from communities on the south, west, and southeast sides of San Antonio. And with LaMarcus Aldridge finding his footing down the stretch and the Spurs' malign defense getting just enough stops, Monday, San Antonio avoided defeat against the Bulls in a close 108-107 victory at the United Center. Aldridge had 11 of his 20 points in the fourth quarter, including a drive and dunk that resulted in a three-point play with 2.13 to go that gave the Spurs a seven-point lead. The Spurs are 9-0 this season when Aldridge reaches 20 points and 1-10 when he doesn't. The Spurs previously lost two fourth-quarter games, one against Memphis and another at Milwaukee, sandwiched around a resounding 111-100 victory over a hobbled Indiana team to open the current four-game road swing. Following the victory against the Bulls, DeMar DeRozan noted that while a win is a win, the Spurs need to improve, saying, quote, we've got to get extremely a lot better. 
And that's your daily San Antonio Express briefing for Tuesday, November 27th. Subscribe to this and other free content at expressnews.com slash podcasts.